Question seven then from the 2019 Higher Maths paper one. Four mark question, this time on lines. Lines and angles. That should ring a bell straight away. The gradient of the line is the tangent of the angle. What does it say? The line L makes an angle of 30 degrees with a positive direction of the x-axis. If you were drawing a sketch of it, there's the x-axis. This line makes an angle of 30 degrees with it. So this line comes through like that, where this angle is 30 degrees. That means you can get its gradient. And once you know its gradient, you can get the gradient of the perpendicular line and put it through that point. So the first step would be this. What's the gradient of that line? It'll be the tangent of the angle. Now that's what you're meant to know. You should have learnt that one. The tangent of 30 is 1 upon root 3. Either just by remembering it or thinking of that 30-60 triangle. The 1, 2, root 3. 1 opposite the smallest angle. 2 is the hypotenuse. Root 3 is the middle side. So the tangent of 30 is the opposite over the adjacent. The 1 over the root 3. So straight away then, if that's the gradient of this line and you want the perpendicular line, the perpendicular line will be the negative of the reciprocal, the negative just of root 3. That must be the first couple of marks. There's still two left. What's the equation of the line with this gradient then that's through the point 0, negative 4? Well, you could go in with y minus b is mx minus a. If you didn't realise that the point 0, negative 4 is on the y-axis, so you can just go in with y equals mx plus c. There's no difference in the end. It's a matter of seconds in between them. So y is going to equal, the gradient is negative root 3x, and c, it cuts the y-axis at minus 4. Now, it was quite short and sweet for four marks.